We celebrate today the memory of a very famous woman saint, Saint Scholastica, virgin. She was the sister of another saint, Saint Benedict, Benedict of Nursia. Benedict is the patron saint of Europe, the patron saint of students. In other words, Scholastica and Benedict are siblings. They are brother and sister. This is quite common among some siblings. There are siblings who are both lawyers or both doctors or both teachers or both policemen or both dentists or both engineers. And some even have two or three or four lawyers in the family, two or three or four doctors, two or three or four teachers in the family. Two of my sisters are nurses, and two other brother and sister of mine, they are both dentists. Benedict and Scholastica were siblings. Believe it or not, they were twins. They were twins, fraternal twins. In the SVD, there were some twins who joined our congregation. I remember there is one twin, one is in the Philippines, the other is in Japan. And in Christ the King, we also have twins. They are from the mountain province. They are both in second year. They are doing well in their studies. They are my students. They are siblings. They are identical twins. But there is another set of brothers in Christ the King. They are from Agusan. Both of them are also studying for the priesthood. This is pretty common in the Philippines and in other countries. Twins entering the religious life together or brother and sister. One becoming a priest or a brother or a nun or a sister. Today we celebrate the memory of Scholastica. Scholastica is the patron saint of nuns. Of nuns. She is the patron saint of convulsive children. She is invoked against storms and rains. Scholastica was born of wealthy parents in the year 480. Scholastica and Benedict were brought up together until Benedict left for Rome in order to continue his studies. Scholastica and Benedict were very close to each other. Benedict founded 12 communities of monks in a place in Italy called Subiaco, about 65 kilometers east of Rome, before Benedict moved to Monte Cassino in the mountains of southern Italy. Subiaco is now mainly a tourist and religious resort because of its sacred grotto. In Subiaco, you will also found he find here the Abbey of St. Scholastica. And Subiaco is famous as the first city in Italy where books were printed in the 15th century. I tried to Google Subiaco last night and there is one very famous Italian movie actress in the 1950s and 1960s who comes from Subiaco. The younger generation would not know her, but the older ones like me and the others who are older will probably remember Gina Lollobrigida. She is from Subiaco. Another Italian actress, very famous then, was Sofia Loren, but she is not from Subiaco, she is from Rome. Little is known of the life of Scholastica. She and Benedict were said to be born at Nursia in Italy. Under her brother's direction, Scholastica founded the feminine branch of the Benedictine order. 
Her first convent for women was near Monte Cassino. It had been the practice of Scholastica and Benedict because they were very close to one another. It has been the practice of Scholastica and Benedict to visit each other once a year in a farmhouse because Scholastica was not permitted to enter the monastery of Benedict. The two spent quality time together but they were mostly discussing about spiritual matters. I was reading the dialogue of St. Gregory the Great this morning in the Liturgy of the Hours and I was impressed by how Scholastica and Benedict loved each other. Scholastica and Benedict he spent their last day together in prayer and conversation. They were so close to one another that when Scholastica sensed that her death was coming, Scholastica begged her brother Benedict to stay with her until the following day. But Benedict refused the request of his sister because he did not want to spend the night outside the monastery. It would mean breaking his own Benedictine rule. That is why Scholastica asked God in prayer to let her brother remain. And because of the prayer of Scholastica, there was a severe thunderstorm that broke, uh, broke out that prevented Benedict and his companion monks from returning to their monastery. At her brother's refusal, Scholastica folded her hands on the table. She rested her head upon her hands in earnest prayer. And when she looked up again, there was a sudden burst of lightning and thunder accompanied by a heavy downpour that Benedict and his companion monks were unable to go back to the monastery. And Benedict kind of reprimanded his sister and said, Sister, what have you done? God forgive you. But his scholastica answered, I ask a favor from you and you refuse. I ask a favor from God and God listened to my request. My dear friends, to make the long story short, Scholastica and Benedict parted the next morning after a long, fruitful con conversation. And you know, three days later, Benedict was praying in his monastery when he saw the soul of his sister rising heavenward in the form of a dove. And it is said that when Scholastica died, Benedict saw her soul going up to heaven in the form of a dove. Benedict announced to the monks the death of his sister and later buried Scholastica in the tomb that he prepared for himself. My dear friends, Scholastica and Benedict were model siblings. They had an exemplary relationship as brother and sister and as workers in the vineyard of God. The Bible says, How good it is and how pleasant when brothers and sisters live in unity. Amen.